This changes everything, and no one saw it coming. For years, the world's biggest automakers have poured billions into cracking the solid-state battery puzzle. Promises were made, faster charging, longer range, and unmatched safety. But despite all the hype, progress dragged on. Then out of nowhere, Cartiel dropped a bombshell. No big launch event, no grand marketing campaign, just results. Cartiel didn't just upgrade battery tech, they reinvented it. While Tesla, Toyota and others followed the same beaten path, Cartiel took a completely different route. And now the game has changed. Picture this, EVs that charge in minutes, not hours. Batteries that last twice as long, for less money and a future where gas stations feel like relics of the past? What happens to combustion cars when EVs charge faster than filling a tank? Will Tesla's dominance survive this shakeup? And does Toyota's hybrid first strategy still make sense? Stay tuned, this is just the beginning. Everyone else hit a wall. KTL found the way forward. Solid state batteries have been the holy grail of EV innovation. In theory, they offer better energy density, faster charging and superior safety by replacing liquid electrolytes with solid ones. But in practice, the road has been filled with setbacks, especially when it came to reliability and cost. Even giants like Toyota, Tesla and QuantumScape struggled. One of the biggest issues, dendrites, tiny metal filaments that grow inside the battery, pierce the solid electrolyte and cause short circuits or even fires. That one flaw kept solid-state batteries from living up to the hype. So how did Cartiel break through where everyone else failed? Rather than tweaking existing designs, CATL went back to the drawing board. Their solution, a revolutionary 3D honeycomb anode. This structure increases surface area, letting lithium ions move faster and more efficiently. That means faster charging and less wear on the battery, extending its life. But KTL didn't stop there. They also introduced a biomimetic electrolyte interface, a design inspired by living cell membranes. This allows the battery to self-heal, stopping dendrites from forming in the first place. The result? A battery that's not only more efficient, but far safer and longer lasting. And crucially, it's scalable. Unlike many cutting-edge technologies, CATL's condensed solid-state battery can be mass-produced without sending costs through the roof. While others stalled, CATL quietly built the future. Why Toyota feels this the hardest? Toyota famously took a cautious approach to EVs. While others dove headfirst into electric vehicles, Toyota stuck with hybrids, betting big on solid-state batteries to give them a competitive edge down the line. It made sense at the time, the Prius was a symbol of innovation, and hybrids seemed like a sensible bridge between gas and electric. But that bet hasn't paid off. Now, with Cattell's new battery ready for production, Toyota's methodical approach looks outdated. Why? Because Toyota favoured slow, incremental progress. KTL, on the other hand, took bold risks, and now they've leapfrogged the competition. Toyota now faces a tough choice, scrap its own battery project and partner with KTL, or double down and risk more time and money chasing a moving target. American automakers caught off guard, Toyota's not the only one feeling the heat. General Motors and Ford have made major EV commitments. GM's Ultium platform and Ford's electric F-150 and Mustang Mach-E were seen as steps forward. But those platforms are built on lithium-ion tech, that's quickly becoming obsolete. Unlike Tesla, which builds most of its tech in-house, GM and Ford rely on partnerships for battery development. That puts them at a disadvantage now that KTL is setting the new standard. To keep up, they'll have to rethink everything, from their supply chains to their long-term strategies. And that won't be easy, especially while still juggling gas-powered production. Adapt or fall behind. That's the new reality. A new EV era. Winners and losers. KTEL's breakthrough will divide the industry into two camps. Those who embrace the new tech and those who get left behind. Automakers that license or partner with CATL will gain a massive edge. But companies that stuck with old tech or poured money into now outdated battery R and D, they'll be forced to pivot fast or face serious financial consequences. This isn't just a new chapter, it's a whole new playbook. 
what this means for you should you still buy an EV in 2025. This breakthrough puts EV buyers in a tough spot. Do you buy now or wait for the next generation of EVs with Cartier's game-changing battery? On one hand, current EVs still offer strong performance. On the other, they may lose value faster than expected. Faster charging, better safety, and longer battery life are no longer just promises. They're real, and that could seriously affect the resale value of today's EVs once Cartier-powered models hit the road. So what should you do? Assess your needs. If you need an EV now, make sure it holds value well and supports future upgrades like over-the-air updates. Watch the timeline. If Cattell's rollout is close, waiting could be worth it. Think long-term. If your EV meets your needs for the next 5 to 10 years, you may still get good value out of it, even if better models arrive soon. Bottom line, buying an EV today isn't a bad move, if you go in with eyes open. Infrastructure has to catch up, the new battery is fast, but charging it won't be if the infrastructure isn't ready. Most current public chargers deliver between 50 to 150 kilowatts. Catiel's battery may need 300 to 500 kilowatts to fully unlock its potential. That means countries must not just build more chargers, but better ones, fast. It's not just a matter of convenience. High power charging draws heavy loads, which could strain local power grids. Without major investment in grid upgrades and charging hubs, KTL's innovation risks being underused. Governments, automakers and energy providers need to work together to keep up. Will this new tech cost you more? Advanced tech usually means higher prices, and early versions of KTL-powered EVs might come with a premium. Complex new materials, production methods, and supply chain overhauls could drive up initial costs. But over time, mass production should bring prices down, especially with automaker partnerships. And even if you pay more up front, you could save long-term with lower charging costs, less maintenance, and longer battery life. For many, this new battery won't just be better, it'll be a smarter investment. But will it last? New doesn't always mean durable, so is Cattell's battery built to last? Cattell claims extensive testing shows long-term reliability. The biomimetic interface and 3D structure are designed to reduce degradation and extend life. Still, lab results don't always reflect real-world performance. Time will tell but early signs suggest this breakthrough is more than just a headline. It's a solid foundation for the future. Conclusion, the future starts now. KTL's solid-state battery breakthrough didn't just push the EV industry forward, it reset the entire game. Automakers, buyers and governments all face new questions, challenges and opportunities. This is the turning point the industry has been waiting for. And it's only just beginning.